Hello again, YouTube. This is the Truth Man. The channel is the No Matrix, No Simp, and All Subjects channel. We getting back to the Dealing with People series. We dealing with people, and we getting back to that. So I want to talk about people who reject you, like how to deal with them after experiencing rejection from them. Like this is like a delicate subject because sometimes some of y'all might have, might have been rejected by your parents. Maybe she gave you up for adoption or he gave you up for adoption or maybe they were just putting you down and rejecting you, neglecting you, so on and so forth. The first thing you want to do is you want to make sure in your heart you have forgiven them. You want to make sure that in your heart you have forgiven them. Now, there are some situations which are rare where you should still deal with somebody who rejects you. It's up to you to know the little few instances where you should. But me personally, from my personal experience and from uh, what I've seen and what I know, most of these cases, probably 90 some percent you should just keep them right there. What do I mean by keep them right there? I mean, right where they rejected you, that's where everything ends. Like even if it's a job, if you went for a job and you was real uh, optimistic about getting that job and then they sent you a letter or an email saying that they going with other candidates, you know that they have some type of personal bias against you. Maybe they don't like the way you talk. Maybe they don't like the way you look. Maybe they don't like the way you act. Maybe you are, uh, they wanna be around, like let's say you have, this is what happens. When you got some women, not all, but some, in human resources, if you not a guy that they want attention from, they, they sometimes will overlook you. Don't be hard, don't take it out on yourself, don't act like uh, you're not good enough. A lot of times it's not that you're not good enough, it's just sometimes they not smart enough to see that you're good enough. So they reject you. They reject you. If, if like, like you might, let's say you short and she like tall dudes and she rejects you, don't let her come back. Or you tall and she like short dudes. Don't let her come back. Or she get to talking about how you don't got enough money, like you, you're dusty. Don't let her come back. Don't be thirsty. If, if you start feeling that urge, like let's say you, want, you really wanted to get your hands on her in terms of smashing and she rejected you and now she came back uh, two months later or a year later, it's over for her. Make it over. Leave her right where she was at. Be like, nah, nah, you put me in the friend zone. You said you wanted to just be friends. Let's just go with that and go find you somebody else. When jobs do it, like I went back to a job, right? I went back to the job. I quit the job the first time because I relocated. But while I, while I was down there in Texas, I was talking to people from work and I said, I'm gonna come back up to Milwaukee. And the uh, one of the, the the people in charge said, oh yeah, man, you come back, we'll hire you back, we'll give you your job back, so on and so forth. So they gave me my job back. Uh, and the person that gave me my job back was the same as usual, great guy. You know, like, like it wasn't him, but he had hired a particular supervisor that was kind of rejecting my philosophy and my approach and me in general. And I, so I tried to switch shifts, but at the time there was no shift. So I ended up quitting again because I just like... I didn't want to work with this person, like, because it was just, to me, it was just so dumb what they was doing. Like, they were basically 
I'm I'm the most experienced staff on the shift. I got the most control. My uh, tactics were working. But when when they when it came time to give evaluations, she was giving emotional evaluations. She wasn't giving me evaluations based on my effectiveness. She was giving me evaluations based on stuff that she done heard because I already know when they be in that office they was not watching. They weren't watching. So she was basically listening to people who are in competition with me or who want want to believe that they're more effective than, than me, which was pure narcissism because it wasn't even close. Like I can basically I didn't I had the least amount of fights on my pods because guys already knew you fight you ain't finna be out here like I'm gonna take my time taking you off restriction you know and they knew if they clown on me and stuff like that that it was gonna cost them. so but you always had those people who they want to put they self they know see it's when you at the top when you the champ Everybody gonna be gunning for you. And that, it was one of those sorts of things where everybody was gunning for me, you know? And uh, I just decided to leave, like I've decided. And I was looking at one of my paycheck stubs from that job like yesterday. And I'm looking at it like, man, that all of that for that Come on now. Now, they done got a couple raises. They make a lot more now. But while I was there, it was like a thing where I was like, man, all of that for that? Come on. So I decided to move on uh, because it was rejection. You know, it was a back and forth thing. So I just took it as rejection and moved on. Now, me personally, I'm not going back. I'm not going back there. Uh, somebody said I should come back again. Nah, it's going to be the same thing. Like, it's going to be like, well, I ain't let nobody. They be like, I ain't let nobody get my job. That's because you more messy than me. I don't see me personally. I don't like all of that mess. You know? I don't like all of that mess. Let's see this police officer. They always, I'm gonna tell you something about the police outlining areas here. I got pulled over yesterday, right? And I asked them like, I said, so, uh, is there a reason why you put me over? Because I wasn't like, I, I ain't break no traffic laws or nothing. He pulled me over because he ran he ran a check on the plate and found some stuff, and he pulled me over. He didn't give me no ticket, but still, like they, I mean, it, I don't I don't get why he pulled me over, man. You know, but even with that, rejection comes in with that. Like if if you're a police officer, let's say let's talk about that first. And people is cussing you out, this, that, and that, the other. When you doing that job, you still gotta keep your composure and just be like, okay, well, even if it's your superiors, be like, well. That's what it is. So that's where we're going to stay. So it works in every every avenue. Like if you get rejected and uh, the person wants to come back and apologize again, in your heart you should have already forgiven them. But it's up to you to decide what's the next move. In terms of relationships, I would say don't 
try to get with somebody who initially rejected you. Because those relationships rarely ever work. They don't work. So it don't make sense for you to try to get with people who rejected you with all these other people out here that you could get with. You know, you just been... It's like I know a guy, he tried to cut corners and get the easy relationship and he ended up with all types of problems uh, to go along with that relationship. That's what happens. So when they reject you again, the first thing you want to forgive them in your heart. The next thing you want to decide like at, at what level are you going to deal with these people if at all my advice to you would be especially if you're a guy some chick friends on you man people been driving crazy I, I wanted to put the camera on the sheriff I was trying to figure out what he was doing he was swerving he was doing what those guys be out here doing and then that car was kind of swerving too but I wouldn't advise it, man. Same thing with jobs. If they try to hire somebody over you and then that person sucks and they end up having to fire them or they quit, don't go to that job. Don't go to that job. Keep looking for a different one. Because the vibe and the frequency of a person who rejects you it's because they can't match your frequency. So, don't take it the wrong way is the next thing. You get rejected, keep living. Keep doing your thing. Keep going towards your goals. Keep living. Don't let it get you down. Everybody gets rejected sooner or later everybody you see uh, Prince Harry he had to move look how they was doing this kid because the kid is mixed so you can even be a prince and get rejected because when you reject somebody's kids and somebody reject your kids that counts as rejection towards you too so that would be the next thing you know, you got to just keep on moving and keep it moving. You know. Anyway. I think I might have to talk about this a little later. Maybe we'll come back next week. Uh, and finish this conversation about this. Because this is not this is not one of the ones where. You have to, uh, you could just talk to for talk about in a couple minutes and then be done with it. Those are the main important points of when you get rejected. Uh, make sure you don't take it to heart. Make sure you, you know, don't give that person too many chances. I would say relationship, she say she just want to be friends. She put another guy in front of you. That's pretty much it. You know, she come back later on. Nah, nah, you know, somebody else is in the picture. So, but rejection is not supposed to destroy you. It's supposed to build you. Like when you survive rejections, it make it builds character and you become like a rock. I'm telling you. Like next thing you want to make sure that you don't. Uh. that you kind of go along with what I'm saying uh, with this one, don't take it to heart. But you want to just make sure that you uh, understand why you was rejected. Because understanding is how you grow. Like, okay, so she rejected me because I was short, but this is how tall I am. You know, this is uh, this is who I am. So forget her. She said I was too short. And I heard Black Ram say the same thing. Don't give him a second chance. 
to reject you, man. You know, if you got to watch this video again, watch the video again. But I'm gone. I got to take care of some stuff. I'm waiting for it to get loaded up with this load. Thanks for watching.